Good morning everybody and welcome back to a brand new vlog. So Larry and I are officially on our baby moon. So I have brought you guys along with us for that journey. I'm very excited. We're currently sitting outside, just outside of our room. It's a condo, it's kind of a condo I think. We are staying in Vero Beach, Florida, which is on the Atlantic coast. So you might be able to hear some waves in the background. It is a bit breezy, but hopefully my little mic is helping with that. But this is technically our day two being here. I did not film an intro. We're here for a full week, which is amazing. So I'm finally getting ready to film the intro. So this vlog really isn't gonna have much of a flow to it. I'm pretty much just gonna pick up my camera when I wanna pick up my camera. And it's just gonna be little clips throughout a full week of being here. We're so excited and happy to be here. My parents actually recommended Vero Beach to us. They come every year. I think they've been coming for the last several years. So it's just so beautiful here. I'll link where we're staying in case you guys ever want to come and stay here yourselves, but it is so beautiful. Okay, so we're going to do a room tour. So as you walk in, we are room 103. Here we have the gorgeous room. So right to your right, you have a table with a lamp and a phone, a sofa, a chair, a table. This is where we're staying. It's called the Reef Ocean Resort here in Vero Beach. We have chairs with this little desk. That's our stuff. <laughs> the TV. And it has its very own kitchen. Look at this huge, beautiful window in the ocean. <gasps> oh my gosh which we also have a patio with some chairs. And we do have direct access to the beach and a pool. You just go down this walkway, you make a right, and then it's right on the left. That's how you get to the beach. A little place for Larry and I to eat dinner. We have a full kitchen. How cool is that? So we can make our own dinners here while we're here. I think it comes with like silverware and utensils, which is really nice. Stove, microwave. We have a freezer and the fridge. And then moving on, let's go to the back. Oh, look at that! Bathing Beach, Vero Beach, Florida. I love the cars, it's cool. Okay, and you come down this hallway. I'm pretty sure that is a octopus <laughs> or squid. All right, so here on the right, we have the toilet and a shower, very nice. And then out here, you actually have the sink and everything like where you would get ready and all that good stuff. And then in here is the bedroom. We have a king size bed, comes with light. <laughs> it comes with light. Um, we have a TV in here, a dresser, a closet where you can hang things, some extra bedding if you want, some extra towels, fresh and clean, a laundry basket. But yeah, this is it. And how cool is this original? Well, I don't know if it's an original picture, but this is the Vero Town, I guess. Fast growing business section, Vero Beach, Florida. I love that. It looks very cool. So this is our room. That was what it looked like the first time I was here. Okay. <laughs> You're silly. And let's take you guys outside and show you the water really quick. We have to do that, right? So. Huh? I gotta see the pool. And the pool. I'll take you on a quick tour of the, the ocean and the pool. Ocean. And here you have the pool, which there's nobody here, so I can film it. <laughs> Yay! And this is the beach access. And a little shower to rinse off when you get all sandy.
Honey. There's a bunch of people with the sea turtles. Okay. I wonder if they hatched or if they're about to hatch. It's early morning. We're watching the, well, the sunrise has definitely already happened, but there's a sea turtle nest and there's a bunch of people over there, so we're gonna check it out. People that are over there work here. <laughs> didn't even get him. He ran away. <laughs> He's still walking. <laughs> Guys, the lizards here are so much bigger than our geckos at home. Anyways, Larry and I are getting ready to head out to the beach for a few hours. I'm going to, okay, so this is crazy, but I got eaten alive at our photo shoot. I still have bug bites all over as you can see my skin on my arms they're everywhere so i'm still getting bit by bugs here like the noceums so i'm gonna use this put this all over myself because i was getting bit at the beach yesterday and then i'm going to top it with this this is the 100 four in one performance sunscreen so we're gonna load up hi babe hi babe how you doing i'm well how are you good yeah we have this bag, we're putting our drinks in, Larry's gonna add his to it. And then we're gonna put this inside this bag, which is a reusable bag, and we're gonna add our towels to it and anything else that we want to bring. We picked this up yesterday for the low, low price of- It was 50 cents. 50 cents at the TJ Maxx. Yep. Can't beat it for 50 cents. No. Good deal. It's nice when you get a good deal on something you actually are going to need. That's right. Ocean. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to hear us, but it is raining and it is such a really cool experience to be in the ocean while it's raining. There's lots of other people out here still too, which is really cool. We are watching for lightning though. Once there's lightning, we're running. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> you're running too. I'm making you come with me. Yeah, the storm. You can literally see where the rain. <laughs> Lunch today is going to be some leftover pasta salad from yesterday from Publix, some cherries, cheese and crackers, and I picked up this juice, which I'm excited to try. It has purified water, orange, pineapple, mango, and coconut, paired with lemon, ginger, calcium, I can't pronounce that other word, cherry, zinc, probiotics, and vitamin D, so very excited to try this one. And then Larry is having a ham and cheese sandwich with a lemonade that looks so good. A lemonade. Simply lemonade. Simply lemonade. So that's lunch for the today. For the today. Cheese that goes crunch. Thank you, Chester Cheetah. We are headed out. We're gonna go check out a local Goodwill in the area and maybe a Salvation Army in the area, but we're also gonna bring these for our little road trip around Vero oh. Beach. These are the Smart Sweets Sour Melon Bites. Very excited. I love me some Goodwill thrifting. Need to find a sweatshirt. 
Yeah, Larry needs a sweatshirt. I'm freezing him out of the place. I'm always <laughs> a liquid furnace, so yeah. Guys, I'm wearing a dress. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? I can't even believe it. Here, show them my dress. I got it at, t the shoes are not cute, but my feet are humongous, so we're just gonna ignore the shoes. Very swollen. Um, but this is the dress. It's nice and flowy and cozy and soft, which is good. That's what we need in life right now. <laughs> thrifting was a success we found a couple of goodies and we also met a viewer so if you are watching hello and thank Hi. you so much for saying hi it's always so fun to meet you guys especially when we're out traveling it's just amazing she's like what are you doing at Vero? i'm like we're on our baby moon Yay. <laughs> so hello and now we're just gonna drive around sightsee some more we found another store we found larry two sweaters so that's awesome and then he also found this huge lighter that's from like the thomas shelby era or if you watch uh peaky blinders looks like this there's a name for this style lighter which i don't remember what it is but that's the lighter and then you open oh it up, your cigarettes go in there and it's got little clips to hold your cigarettes look how short they used to be yeah look probably lucky he's no, no filters wow crazy that's cool nice piece of um history there we thought. have found a fresh market and we're gonna hit that up the only problem is is i don't have a cooler in the back of the car or ice but we're hoping maybe they'll have something like a bag i can put stuff in get ice we'll see i just want to check out the fresh market see if there's anything in there that we might like Good morning, everybody. It is day three of our vacation. We didn't end up going to the fresh market yesterday because we found a Marshall slash home goods. And I was like, oh, I really want to go. And they had Halloween stuff in there. So, of course, we took a peruse around there. And but that does mean we're headed to the fresh market today. But first, our morning routine every day so far. Larry and I wake up, we have, well, I have coffee, he has a drink, we have breakfast, my go-to breakfast since being here is just Greek yogurt with pumpkin granola and a peach that I got from one of the markets here, which was really good, and I've cleared them out in three days. I think I ate six in three days. Um, so they've been really delicious. And we're getting ready to hop in the ocean for the morning. We usually spend like three to four hours down at the beach, which is literally right here. Um, and it's just super nice and relaxing. And then we come back and we shower and then we head out and do whatever we're gonna do for the day. I'm all sunscreened up, letting that soak in before I head out there. It's very bright. And I do need to apply the bug spray, so annoying. I don't know if it's pregnancy, but I still have the bites from the photo shoot, like covered. It literally looks like I have chicken pox. Um, I'll show you guys. 
day three. So it's been five days. This evening will be five days post the photo shoot. And this is what I still look like. And it still itches. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that. But here. Ta-da. <laughs> oh, and my feet, guys. Check out this swelling. I'm calling it my elephant feet. Do excuse the toes. They're not painted. They're not glorious. I can't reach, and I didn't have time to go get them done. So <laughs> that's just the real fact of how it is. But, oh, I woke up early this morning. I was able to see the sunrise. So I did film some of that for you guys. Larry joined me just as the sun was coming up, and a flock of pelicans were gliding over the Atlantic. It was really pretty. So anyways, that's my morning check-in. It's so bright. I can't keep my eyes open. I hope you guys are enjoying the baby moon and hanging out with us and we're enjoying it so much, so. Yep, because I saw the yellow Vero Beach sweater. Perfect. Hydration station for your pup. Aw. That's cute. We found this really cool turtle by the beach hand painted has lemurs tigers lions giraffe zebras it's really cute and we're across from a place that comes highly recommended that's Nino's Pizzeria I've heard it's the best pizza in this area so before we leave I am determined to order myself a pizza from Nino's <music> This vlog would not be complete without a grocery haul. So this is what we picked up from the fresh market. We found these, which look really tasty. They're the almonds mint chocolate. We got chocolate chip cookies that smell really, really nice. And then I could not help myself. I'm so excited to try these when we go home. The two that I picked were Georgia pecan, which is rich and buttery with notes of caramelized brown sugar and roasted Georgia pecans, and then cinnamon hazelnut which is rich and complex with notes of warm cinnamon spice and toasted nuts. How are the cookies? Larry just had one. Pretty good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Nice. And then this piqued my interest. It's a Thai noodle salad, an egg and potato salad, a bag of cherries, because we just finished our golden cherries, so we went with some 
dark cherries this time, and then two cooked sushi rolls, the dragon California roll, and the spicy salmon roll. So that's what we picked up. Oh no, we found these in the checkout. This is so good. A lot of times they'll put salt in chocolate or dark chocolate and you can't really taste the salt. This you can really taste, it's super good. We did order it from Nino, so I'm gonna show you guys what we picked up, show you what it looks like, very excited. So I ordered a margarita pizza, add extra mushrooms because I just love mushrooms, you guys already know this. Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty, very excited. And then Larry ordered some onion rings, which looks so good, and French fries. I can smell them both. Yes, and we have a storm brewing, which is exciting. Aww. Happy birthday, Lexi, kitty. Happy birthday, Lexi. We got Aww. cake for you, and it's got, you really can't see, but it says happy birthday, and it's got a sloth. <laughs> that is so cute. That's for Lexi, kitty. Yeah. And by the way, we did not just leave the girls stranded. They are well taken care of at home and being looked after, so. But I do feel bad we left Lexi on her birthday. And yes, it's true. We are now going to be having cake by the ocean. Cake by the ocean. <laughs> Sound to me. <laughs> Happy birthday, Lexi. Happy birthday, Lexi. Larry and I had our pizza and uh, well, I had the pizza, Larry had the onion rings and the french fries, fries and, hot dog. and hot dog. We can 100% confirm if you guys come to Vero Beach, definitely get Nino's. It is so good. And now we're just sitting outside relaxing, watching the storm roll in, which it kind of slowed down a little bit, but it's really breezy and cool outside, which is nice. Well, it's probably still like 85, but it's breezy and cool feeling. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lexi. Happy birthday to you. Hi, Lexi. Hi, Lex. Aww. Hi, Luna. Hi, Luna. Luna's at the bottom corner. Hi, Tuna. Aww. Hi, Luna Bean. Hi, Luna. Look at her. Lex, Lexi's like, bring it. I'm ready. Yeah, she's ready to give her a nice smack on the head. There she goes. That <laughs> is so typical. <laughs> Pinky, over here. <laughs> Found you. A little cooler than it was yesterday. We had some rain. We had a big thunderstorm that came in last night, but it is beautiful. And we're having a lovely time. It's kind of cold, but very refreshing. Yeah, refreshing is how I would describe it. <laughs> in my ear. now Wednesday. Larry and I just showered. We just got back from the ocean. We spent from 9 a.m. to about noon swimming and everything and now we're getting dressed. We're gonna head out for the afternoon but first we're gonna have lunch and I'm gonna have some sushi that I picked up at the fresh market which I showed you guys. I was gonna say yesterday. Well yeah it was yesterday. I just purchased this dress while here <laughs> And I totally thought it was going to be like the perfect pregnancy dress because it has the ruched side. It is so short. I had to put shorts on underneath of it because we'd have some problems. But it is very, very cute. So it's just like, uh, I saw the tags on it. Larry has to cut them off. But the ruchy part comes here, but then it slits here. So it's like, um, hello. 
<laughs> so I've had to put shorts under it, but it's very cozy regardless. Here's our sushi roll. We have potato salad, some lemonade, cherries, big old thing of water. gonna try and snorkel. It is now the evening. Larry and I are getting ready to head up to Bobby's, which is a restaurant that's pretty much, I think it's attached to this hotel. I don't know if it's, it's not a hotel. What are these, condos? I don't know, but basically you walk up to the main street and the restaurant is right there. My parents eat at it. Every time they come, they said it's amazing. They're known for their steaks and their prime rib. And it was highly recommended by a few people in the local area as well. So. Larry and I are going out to dinner for the first time since being here because we bought groceries and we've just been eating here at the condo, I guess is what you would call these, um, which has been really nice, but we're very excited to go out to dinner. I have another dress on. It's a very, very comfortable, long kind of bodycon fit dress, but it's so cozy. And then, I also think that, oh, I never told you guys about this necklace. So I thrifted this while he was while here for $4. And then we might dip into Target because we need to pick up a cooler. Um, because we did do some grocery shopping before we came, we might have some leftover things to take home with us. Tomorrow is Friday. So I told Larry I would rather get like everything kind of, and I can't believe we're talking about this. <laughs> get everything like packed up and ready to go Friday so we're not hustling and doing it Saturday morning because checkout is at 11 on Saturday. So we might pick up a cooler while we're out here and that way we can take our stuff that we have in the fridge home. We don't really have that much. It's mainly like salad dressings, orange juice, coffee. Oh, I have to tell you guys about poor Larry. So we had our ocean cut a little short today. He's fine. <laughs> no worries. But he likes, Larry likes to be in what I call the danger zone. He sits or stands, he doesn't sit, he stands right where the waves come crashing in and he'll get pictures on his phone. He has this case that he puts his phone in, it's waterproof. And he'll stand there and take pictures and you can get the, what is that called? Like the rip curl of the wave, he gets a lot of those and they look really, really cool, but it's also the danger zone. The first few days, it was cool, calm, collective there. The waves are pretty short. And I was saying like you could sit on your knees and be able to float. And now with the full moon, which we did look up, it has to do with the full moon and the sun and the um, tide is actually 20% higher than usual when you have a full moon. So our tide is very high right now, which means the waves that are crashing in are from four to six feet. So they were going over Larry's head and they wiped him out and he skinned his knee and he skinned his, his hip. He has a nice mark, literally this big, of like raw skin of scratches from like the, the seashells, which we put Neosporin on, we came out of the ocean. So I'm like, great, you're bleeding. We're drawing the sharks in. They can smell it from two to three miles away. <laughs> Let's get out of the water. And um, I'm already paranoid every time I go in the water, but I force myself. I see a lot of you guys ask me every time, like with the photo shoot, you could tell it kind of looked swampy. And a lot of you were like, aren't you scared about sharks and alligators? And yes, it was on my mind 24 seven, but I try to force myself to still get in and <laughs> face that fear because it is a fear of mine. 
every single time I've gotten into the ocean, I'm like, oh my gosh, dun 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 dun. And I start thinking about Jaws and I'm like, oh my gosh, try to relax, calm yourself down and enjoy the Atlantic Ocean. Just enjoy it. But yes, yes, it is a fear of mine, but we push, we push past those fears and we get in the water and I try to do it. That's, that's my motto. I just try to do it. We got out of the water and we decided, we spent maybe 45 minutes to an hour at the ocean this morning. Usually we're there for about three hours. We came in, we rinsed off, we checked Larry out, and then we were like, well, let's head up the pool. <laughs> no sharks in there. So we spent um, the remaining two hours that we would normally spend in the ocean and the pool, which was really refreshing and really nice. We noticed though, let me straighten you guys, I think we're crooked, that there's definitely like an ocean crowd and then there's the pool crowd because everybody at the pool knew each other. The really fun thing too about staying here is the stays are from Saturday to Saturday. So you can't come for like three days, four days. It is literally Saturday to Saturday. So everybody that's here is here the same time as you. Everybody leaves at the same time. Everybody checks in at the same time. So you all kind of get to know each other, which is really fun. But all the people we know are on the beach. We didn't know any of the people by the pool. Maybe a few that we have seen here and there, but they were all like mingling and good morning, Carol. How are you, Karen? And everything like so good to see you. And which was really, really cute. And I was like, we're the newbies at the pool at the end of the week and nobody knows us because <laughs> anyways, but it was fun. And we stayed at the pool for a few hours and then we came in and I'm not going to lie. We took a nap, mm -hmm. took a nice relaxing nap and now here we are getting ready to head out to dinner larry's wearing his very cute shirt that he wore for the photo shoot which you guys all love on him as do i he looks so cute in it a lot of you comment he looks so good in blue yes he does he looks so so good in blue it makes his eyes pop too so yep and i was thinking i wonder if baby here we are just shy of 35 weeks tomorrow i will be 35 weeks pregnant I'm wondering if he is going to be a little water baby because all summer, because it's been so warm, I have spent every single day in our swimming pool and then here in the ocean. So I'm wondering, is this little one going to love the water? Is he going to be a water baby? We shall see. But anyways, guys, I'll quit yapping at you. see this <laughs> pregnancy problems everything gets on the belly everything it's just water thank goodness but yay
Yeah. You made it. Big wave. Yeah. This is the problem. These seats are a bit choppy. Oh my god. It's still a full moon? And I thought today was calmer than yesterday. We are not. Big wave, big wave. Big one. Oh my gosh, that guy. Oh dear. Is our final day it is saturday morning and we are finally packing up the car which <laughs> seems so sad i'm looking out at the ocean and there's people in the water and i'm like we should be going out there in an hour it just seems so strange to be leaving and larry and i had just such amazing such an amazing beautiful time away and it was just i can't even explain it was just really incredible very peaceful we have little bunnies in the area here's larry He's loading up the car. I'll show you guys everything that's kind of scattered around as we're loading it. But yeah, they have little bunnies, little lizards. Big lizards. Yeah, we saw an African lizard, which was fun. Um, but anyways, I'll show you guys the room, kind of cleaning up, clearing out what we did, all that good stuff. But it is going to be nice, of course, to go home and see the kitties and see the family and all of that. But sad to be leaving the ocean for sure. So anything that we had left over refrigerator wise went in this cooler that we're gonna take home. We did not have much, but we had some. And then all of the dry foods like leftover bread and stuff like that. There goes Larry taking out his suitcase. This is all clothes. I wanted it in like garbage bags that we brought from home so I could literally just toss it straight in the washer when we get home. 
And yes, I have sorted it. So <laughs> we have lights on this side, darks on this side, and then this is some bedding that I brought. All my stuff that'll come up in the front. So like my computer bag and little snacky bag, my purse, drinks, books. Oh, guys, I've been reading The Inheritance Games while here. I got almost halfway, not quite. So good, highly recommend. It's by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. It's a trilogy, I believe, or her third book is coming out in the fall, if I'm not mistaken. On a side note, fun fact, my bug bites stopped itching. The bug bites from the photo shoot <laughs> stopped itching last night, the last day we were here. Actually, it wasn't too bad whole day yesterday, but the last day, guys, which was, you know, it was fun. It was a fun time. Every night, Larry, like, slathered me in calamine lotion. It was great, very romantic. <laughs> so, but I still have all the marks. I don't know if you guys can see them. But uh, they don't itch, so that's good. Okay guys, so while we were here, there was a turtle nest just down there, which you guys probably saw in the video earlier this week. It hatched, the little turtles made their way to the ocean. But the fun part about that is, that turtle nest was laid when my mom and dad came and stayed here in May. And then it hatched while Larry and I were here, which is so cute. I hope you guys enjoyed spending the baby moon pelican. Bye bye. I hope you guys enjoyed spending the baby moon with us. It was wonderful to be here. Such a lovely time. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. We're now going to head home. And now it's preparation countdown time for a little one to arrive. Yay! Take your time. Take your time. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah. We'll see you again very soon. Bye! Bye!